Hi guys, this is Kirsten and today I have a review slash demo of the Canon Selfie photo printer. It is my newest toy and I am absolutely head over heels in love with it. I just want to show you how it works, the gist of it, the pros and the cons of it, and all that good stuff. So first things first, this is meant to be like a portable printer, photo printer. You can use it with your phone, you can use it with your computer, or you can use it with a USB cord. So like if you had a camera, you could just put the wire in, do it directly from here. You can use a actual SD card right here. So there's a ton of different ways to print from this printer, which I find that a really cool feature because there are some past pictures that I want to develop that are only existing on an SD card. It's super easy as well because once you have the app installed on your phone, it can take less than five minutes to set this all up and print as many pictures as you need. I think this printer is ideal for scrapbookers, smashbookers, any sort of paper crafter because you can print as many pictures as you have paper for, of course, and immediately use them in your designs and your layouts. So it's super amazing. I wouldn't say it's the most portable of the printers out there, photo printers out there. There are smaller ones. There are the Polaroid cameras. There are, um, I think, a Pogo or a Pono. I don't know the exact name. LG printers. I looked into a lot of them. This is the one that had the most favorable reviews and served the purpose. I'm not going to take this, you know, camping or um, literally on the go in my bag. If that's a printer you want, this isn't for you, but if you want a little something that you can set up in a corner of your desk, put away instantly, and then pick it out as needed, this is a nice size. It's pretty sizable. As you saw before when I brought out my phone, it's about the, it's just a little bigger than my phone. It's still pretty sizable, but it folds up nicely. This tray comes out, this folds back, the wire cord here rolls up, and it fits in about a shoebox of a space. Another good feature about this is I liked the size prints that it provides. It does four by six pictures and if you want a smaller picture all you have to do is make a collage on your phone or on your computer and you could get even smaller ones but with something that's even tinier like a tinier printer like a Polaroid printer you only are stuck with those tiny little options. So this gives you anything from four by six to as tiny of a collage picture as you want to make it. But the major con for me is it's something that several other reviewers pointed out so I knew beforehand what I was getting into. When you print off of this picture, I will show you in a minute, they have little bit strips on the front on the top and on the bottom that you bend back and have to remove. So that's excess. But on the con side, it takes off some of the picture itself. So you kind of have to take that into account when you print a picture. There are ways around it that I can show you, but that is something. But I think if you're using it mainly for a paper crafting purpose, where you're going to be layering it among other photos, among other paper and ephemera and all that, it's really, really nice. But if you're just putting it in a straight up photo album, it might that will take off the 4x6 measurements and make it a little awkward to fit perfectly in a photo album. So there's that. Pro of it, let's just alternate pros and cons here. I don't want to keep it too negative, is that when you get a paper refill pack, it comes with the ink as well. So you don't have to order those two separately. That's really nice, really convenient. It's not the most cost effective way of printing pictures, but it's the <laughs> easiest I found. I don't have to figure in, you know, what ink goes where, what is all this? It's super, super easy. The paper goes in this tray, it's removable. And then the ink, let me do this without breaking it, cartridge slips in here. As much paper as you get is the exact amount of ink you get. So if, let's say it's a 108 picture pack. The ink cartridges that they give you is just enough for 108 pictures. 
So that's really, really nice. Makes it super, super simple. I love this thing. It has really helped my paper crafting because I would always be super lazy. It's so inconvenient to have to go drive down to your local pharmacy or photo developing place, sift through their machine, print the exact pictures, and if you mess up a picture or you do this, it just makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. And everyone knows quicker is better. <laughs> so let's just turn this on and show you how it works. So as that's starting up, I'm going to be showing you really quick how... Ooh, a little noisy. That's not annoying at all. So it's a bit noisy. But again, not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to show you how to do it on your phone. There is a Wi-Fi capability, so you could do this wireless through, wirelessly through your phone. So let's just show you real quick. So once you turn it on, I don't know how well you're going to see, you're going to go to your Wi-Fi area. They give you the password. You're going to find CP nine, 10, and a whole bunch of numbers. So click that one. You're going to connect and you are connected to the printer. So now you can print wirelessly. If you're wondering how you get to the actual password for this Wi-Fi, because you do need a password, it's really easy. You just press OK and you have the password on the screen. So I already have it saved to my phone and that's all I have to do. I picked it, it's now complete. Now, how do you print it from here? you have to get the app Canon EPPP, this little printing one right here. Click it, easy photo print, Canon. Go to images, and I have some that I already wanna print. And it shows you all the images that you have available to you. Then I'm going to select one, which one shall I print? So let's print this collage here. Hold down, clicked it, selected it, then press print and you have the option to have a border or borderless. I always choose borderless and the amount of copies here. I just want one, so I print. And then as you can see, it can be a little bit slow at first, uh, depending on where the quality of the picture, but it usually prints within a minute or two for each individual image. So it's not too bad in my opinion. And as you can see, how it prints is it prints in layers. So the yellow layers first goes backwards, prints pink or magenta and then blue, and then a clear coat, which is really cool and fun to watch. Immediately after that the final glaze, you can touch it, you can dunk it in water, you can do whatever you want with it and it's completely, completely done. So here it is. Here's the final picture. Hi, family, friends. <laughs> uh, sorry, you're on a video. And see how I was telling you that it has this little layer right here that you have to remove. And it did uh, cut off some of the image itself, but that's okay. I factored it into it when I made the collage. And boom, here's my finished quality. It has pretty decent, let me just zoom in on my face because I don't know if my family wants to be in it. But as you can see, I don't know if my camera is gonna be able to pick it up, but it is pretty decent quality. It's pretty decent quality, really easy, and you could handle it immediately afterwards, which is so great, especially for people that are impatient, like I said before. Overall, I would give this printer a four out of five. The only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that this little perforation not only takes part of the image, but it leaves it kind of rough. So for people that are very detail oriented, that will be very annoying. And if you were to touch it, see, I don't know if you could see it, part of it. If you touch the image before it has that glaze, it will impact it. So that's why you ideally would have it on a hard surface. But because I am filming on my bed and there's no other way to film this for you, it's not the smoothest, but it is possible. So clear at least two feet of space so you can have a nice clean image. It does take up the size of a, about a laptop. But other than that, it's really, a full, it's really nice. And if I didn't say before, the price on Amazon is about $80, 80 something dollars. And if you buy a refill pack, which you're gonna have to do because the printer itself only comes with 10 picture paper and t enough ink for 10 pictures, ranges from, I think, 
about $18 to 30 something. A bit pricey, but I figure since I live in an area where it's not easy to go to a photo developing place, you know, to go drop it off, go pick up the pictures, etc, etc. Each trip would cost gas and gas is expensive so I figure it is saving a bit of money that way so it might cancel out the cost of the actual printer. I really love this. This has really helped me. If you guys are looking into a uh, photo printer, I would definitely suggest this one. If you have any more questions, comments, or concern, as always, leave them down below and I will get back to them as soon as possible. Until then, I will hopefully see you guys later. Bye!